Back in January, if you were very sensitive to the vibrations of the universe, you knew about those two black holes colliding, and we had those gravitational waves come through. No, you didn't know about that. You didn't. You didn't feel that. I didn't. You no, didn't I didn't feel nothing. The, you didn't feel a shake of the universe. Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> My husband had a different explanation. <laughs> Well, you know, there was that time. No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I had my own shaking, but I was alone. Uh, <laughs> that was when we finally realized about, which was theorized about gravitational waves. Now, the amount of energy that's been measured on this and how much mass it had taken away from the universe when these two black holes decide to partner up and become one, there was basically the mass of two of our sun's worth just completely poof gone from the universe now this happened three billion years ago that had been pretty awesome to uh be nearby but the results of the extragalactic black hole collision were published in this last week in american physics uh, society's physical review letters journal this last week until the past decade the notion of gravitational waves observed was but a pipe dream. It took years for trial and error to get the two twin observatories located in Livingston, Louisiana and Hanford, Washington, where Connie is from, online to sensitive enough to detect the gravitational waves. That's because gravity is so weak a force that it even most powerful gravitational waves that may only move the Earth by the width of a proton or less. It's really kind of cool that the fact is they discovered that that's how much mass has been completely gone from the universe based by just how much energy was released from these two black holes coming together as it were kind of your thoughts i was uh for well, i'm frankly confused by most science so that's not a surprise but i'm just thinking about carl sagan and how he's you know basically we are star stuff right and so matter just changes it it's it, i guess it's form but this stuff is actually gone it went through the hole and so it's no longer here is that correct well, it am was, i thinking it, about this the wrong way it, well matter cannot be destroyed it can only change form so when these, okay, two, when these two collided, they basically created, the, they, they took the energy that they had and it got changed into waveform. Okay. So it just changed, it just changed form to, you know, uh, this, this energy wave. All right. Evidently, the uh, particle gravitational wave arrived at Hanford three milliseconds before uh, the one in Livingston. When I saw Hanford, I'm like, oh, wait, what? Where, you know, where we used to have the nuclear plant. And uh, turns out, too, I went, so I went to the site, and you can take tours there. It's free. They're really excited about this big solar eclipse happening in August, and they'll have a big day where you can go there and take tours and talk about the eclipse. But if you remember, was it a month ago, we uh, there was a collapse of a tunnel out at Hanford, and they had oh, yeah. to actually shut, they had to actually shut this LIGO plant down for a day and then they had to reopen once they realized it was okay but god i i really want to go there i'm not again i'm not a huge science geek but uh it's really interesting to me so i i would love to go there and and see their displays figure out you know exactly what this is yeah we maybe they'll maybe they'll have a, a sesame street version for me that i can understand. <laughs> we talked so, about so. that uh, when you were, you know, were gone, that incident that mm -hmm. happened out there too. So yeah, yeah. we were worried yeah. about you. Yeah. We well, heard thank from you. Me. Well, that is across the mountains for me. It's about a three hour, two or three hour drive from where I'm at. So. Okay. But oh. yes, thank you. Interesting. Very interesting. You know, when you think about all this stuff that could possibly happen to us, mm -hmm. you know, it just, it's like you, you stop and think about it. It's like, man, <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of scary when you think about it. Consider how big the sun is. I mean, we are nothing but a dot. The sun is a lot bigger than us. Well, that's what I was saying. That the sun is, you know, we are but a dot against right. the size of the sun. And to have the energy that's two suns worth to just disappear because of two black holes. Most people don't realize this that quite a while back. They had discovered that the center of our own Milky Way, we actually have a giant black hole in the middle of our own galaxy. Oh, okay. Lovely. But I did not know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. It's been, we don't know, know that for, either. When we were started looking for black holes originally, we were looking everywhere else. We didn't think, oh, well, our Milky Way doesn't seem to be that unstable. We have, wouldn't have a black hole, but there is a black hole in the middle of our galaxy. <laughs> Can we name it Trump? <laughs> <laughs> the Trump hole. <laughs> Trump hole. That, that, that'd be Trump's bunghole. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
Yeah. Very bigly. Very bigly. 